Welcome back to Steel City Drones. Today, we're going to talk about the brand new CZI DT1K HD thermal camera for the Matrice 300 and 350. We are fresh back from Exponential 24 in San Diego, where we were the only ones to have an exclusive on this camera at our booth. You have, if you haven't seen it yet, we had a really good interview with Dennis Pan from CZI. So we're gonna show you everything what this camera can do and why this camera might be a better alternative than the other sensors that are available. To start off with, this is a thermal HD camera. So this is 1280 by 1024 lines of resolution. Now, HD thermal cameras is nothing new to the drone industry. We've had the C30 last year come out by CZI, which is a multiple camera wide zoom thermal camera rangefinder. If you're a search and rescue operation, you want to make sure you're staying above the tree lines at a very safe distance. And if you have a lot of change in terrain, you may have to fly much higher than desired so that you can clear the highest points. So with this type of a camera, we could fly well above 400 feet and get really good resolution. So this camera is very light. It's only 740 grams. And because it's only a thermal camera, it's gonna be much less than its C30N counterpart. The effective focal range on this camera is 121 millimeters. So when we pair that with an HD sensor, we're gonna be able to get really, really good clear definition when we zoom in even digitally. So there's a lot of advantages to a sensor like this. Again, it's lighter, we're gonna be able to get more flight time, we're gonna be able to fly safer and get a lot more resolution at higher altitudes. This is also a radiometric camera sensor and we were able to successfully import these pictures into FLIR tools. So that's gonna give you a lot of flexibility in post-production to be able to, to collect that data. Now you could also use this camera sensor in conjunction with an H20T or just a regular H20 camera. So if you wanted to use the H20 for zoom capabilities and use this camera here for the thermal side, you could do that as well. We've tested this completely. It works with both cameras and you're gonna be able to see some of this footage when we go up in the air and give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Also, one of the nice things I really like about this camera sensor is it's very compatible with the Power 2 app. So we don't have to worry about switching between different apps. We can all just stay within the Power 2 app and have everything good. We can also pair up the DT1K to the H20 and be able to go ahead and synchronize both camera movements at the same time to keep the same framing. So for this test that you're about to see, what we're going to do is we're going to put next to the DT1K an H20T camera. We're doing that because that way we'll be able to go ahead and get true side-by-side -side comparisons of what the H20T puts out versus what the new DT1K puts out. So let's get in the air. So we're at 393 feet high and approximately 196 feet away from our target. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my rangefinder, which shows to me that our target area, which we're gonna be recording, is about 432 feet away. So now we're gonna switch over to the H20T thermal camera, and we're gonna establish some framing right here. That's one time X, no zoom. Now we're gonna switch over to the D1TK, and you'll see that it's a lot more tighter in frame-wise because of the effective field of view. I'm gonna switch back to the H20T, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this synced up so that it matches up. That's pretty close right there. So I need to be about two times X with the H20T to get the same framing for the DT1K. So now we're gonna go ahead and do a split screen of what we're seeing when, as we zoom in. So here's zoomed in, one step. And this is maximum zoom on the H20T. I'll continue zooming in on the DT1K. So 
So let's switch color palettes to black hot. So the clarity and definition of the DT1K is unmatched at this point. It's absolutely crystal clear. Again, we are 393 feet high and the drone is actually about 400 feet away from the actual subject. Let's go back to that again and get on the rangefinder. And right there, yeah, 438 feet away to our target. This is zoomed in one step with the DT1K. And this is four times zoom with the H20T. So now I'm gonna show you how to get real-time radiometric data on the screen. So I'm gonna hit my PSDK window and that's gonna bring up my selections. I can go ahead and hit infrared temperature. When I do so, that brings up this box. This is very similar to the H20T's features. So the green arrow represents the minimum temperature and the white represents the maximum. So now I'm gonna bring up my information and there we go, that's gonna allow me to be able to see what we got going on here. So the minimum temperature right now on the green arrow is 24.84 with the maximum right on Chris right at 34.89 Celsius. So if I just go ahead and pan the camera just a little bit, now you'll see, so the green arrow now is over the bushes that represents a cooler temperature of 24.84 Celsius and the maximum temperature is still on Chris at 35.88 Celsius. So that's how we can get currently radiometric live data now, in a future firmware upgrade, I'm hopeful that we can go ahead and just be able to tap anywhere on the screen to get precision, real-time radiometric data. But for right now, this is how we can go ahead and do it. So those are the results. I hope that was helpful and to see exactly what this camera can do. And again, we're going ahead and comparing this to the H20T camera, which has been the staple for the past four years of what DJI Enterprise has been all about. And that is a pretty good resolution. That's been the standard resolution now for many years. And again, this is taking things to the next level. So if you like this and you wanna be able to get a quote, please give us a call. We have it in stock. We have it ready to ship out. We'll be glad to help answer any questions that you have. And if you haven't yet, please help us grow the channel. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and like the video. That way we'll be able to go ahead and give you more content more frequently. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.